Hi there, I'm Shilton Webb and this is Glycon. Glycon's a motion capture system that uses your VR equipment to perform motion capture. In this case, I have a full, uh, I have a headset, I have hand controllers, I have a waist controller, and I have uh, foot controllers, or foot trackers. And that's all I've got on. And it basically performs mocap. Uh, I can export this, I can export the skeleton for this in a variety of different formats and, and use it in games and movies and whatever I want. But I want to show you something kind of cool that we're working on. It's almost ready, um, not quite, but uh, just to give you a little preview here. What if you could do this? Now right now you can bring in your own sets and props and all kinds of stuff like that. But what if you could bring in your own avatars and and not have to pre-configure them with a whole bunch of crap you have to do in Unity and a bunch of other stuff in order to bring in assets. What if you could bring in an avatar and you didn't have to set it up? Uh, like there's some tools out there that kind of do this, but you're required to do a lot of setup. Uh, you have to set them up for uh, uh, VR chat, stuff like that. What if you just take your FBX and export it and import it directly from the Glycon and actually be able to use it? So check this out. Okay, now when you do this, right now, it freezes your current avatar while it's loading. And you can see here in the little progress window that it's, uh, it's, it's got a little progress amount here. It says loading model 50%. And I have to stress, a whole lot of work is going on in the back end to make this possible. Uh, basically, I load the skeleton, I perform all kinds of uh, fancy recalculations and retargeting on it uh, to make this possible. But in this case, what we're doing is we're taking an iClone skeleton directly from iClone, exporting it as an FBX file, and importing it straight into Glycon. And so from here, I can take that skeleton, I basically, in a few seconds, will become that character. And then I can export my animation. And what's going to happen as a result of that is the hands are going to be in the correct position. If, I, if I'm touching something or touching my fingers together, uh, I'm going to know that those fingers will actually touch together properly on the finished animation because I'm using the, the correct scale and everything. So here's our character. As you can see, it's, uh, it's not perfect yet. Um, some of the, the, like the arm is clipping, and I think that that's a, a calibration issue. More than anything else, I'm not sure. No, nope, that didn't work. So clearly, we got a little, <laughs> got a little work left to do here on this. But it's coming together. Um, one of the funny things is that uh, right now, and this is, I definitely am going to get rid of this, but um, I just want to show you this because it's funny. Right now, you can kind of see inside the person's head, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Also, there's something going on with the fingernails on the female character. This is straight from iClone. I don't know what this is. This appears to be in the FBX file. Uh, and then lastly, um, I, 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 the biggest problem I've got right now is, is a hand. Uh, I don't have the hands quite working right yet. So when they, they're supposed to be like making a fist, that doesn't look quite right. And there's a, obviously a twist issue there on the wrist. I think I'm going to have to do a little more uh, bone morphing uh, for some of the other bones in order to make that possible, in order to make that, that twist look correct. Um, but that's normal. That's actually found in, I think Daz does it all. So they have, they have extra bones for handling uh, special cases for twists on, on the arms and the hands. But the, the, the grip, oh my god, that's, that's not right. OK, anyway, um, as you can see, though, it's come together pretty quick. And uh, get back into mirror mode there. There we go. Um, I'm hoping that uh, sometime in the next 24 hours, I'll have all these bugs wrapped up and, and fixed, and you'll be able to Basically, uh, take your, your iPhone characters straight into uh, Glycon and animate them, and then export your FBX straight out of that, and voila, you're done. Okay, um, that's all. Uh, but let me know if you have any questions or thoughts on this, and I will talk to you guys soon. Oh, and the obvious thing, yeah, I'm doing this for Daz also, uh, but Daz has a slightly different whole little bone architecture system that I'm still trying to work the, the details out on. So as soon as I've got this working for iClone, then I'm going to go back in and try to wrap it up for Daz. And so we'll have Daz 3D and iClone both uh, able to import your characters straight into Glycon and then, and then perform your mocap and export the animation straight back out. All right, thanks. Um, for more information, you can go to Glycon3D.com and pick up a copy today. Uh, but this version right here will be available hopefully sometime in the next 48 hours. Thanks. Have a great day.